Hi there, this is John from cncroi.com and today we're going to take a look at hot pressed foil on acrylic. Back in January, I went to an ARA show in Las Vegas and while going booth to booth, I noticed that there was a hot press machine. What really interested me about the hot press machine was actually the hot press itself. It was the possibilities that it would offer my customers. When you run a laser shop and you do a lot of cutting of acrylic, you end up with a lot of blanks, like this here. And you don't really know what to do with them. Uh, they, they're all specific sizes, like I just finished up a coaster project and I have 200 new acrylic blanks. They were basically the scrap from something that we cut out. Very, very good material, but I don't know what to do with it. With a hot press machine, I'm able to create an auxiliary uh, source of revenue and promotions for my company and my customers by using that and hot pressing it with any detail. Now that's a complicated process except for one thing. We have a CNC laser which means that we can make our own hot press molds. So I can make my own hot press molds, I can make my own blanks mostly from scrap and I have a new business uh, model and revenue source for me and my customers. Let's take a look at how this mold was made. As you may have noticed, I had a couple of technical issues with the video of making this mold with their laser that's behind me. Uh, but it doesn't really matter because the end result was awesome. So this is a, an 80, I think it's durometer, uh, mold for a hot press machine. We could get this from 0 to 80. So if you want a stamp that lasts very, very long, we could actually make that in-house. It's very, very hard. It's almost like stone. And it's rubber, which is great. Now for a hot press, it's pressure and heat, which is why you need a rubber that's very, very hard because it holds the heat in and also gives you enough pressure without deforming when you press down uh, using your hot press machine. So now you know how we did this. And now it's up to you and I to work together creatively to try to find other solutions that we can use this technology for. I'll see you in the next video.